Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel, welcome back uh, to my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for Jill, Ms. Sloan. Uh, we're going to say click and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course and vice versa as well. Guys feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, it is time stamped. Oops. Okay, so click in the uh, description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that, and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle. There we go. As I always say, just, you know, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And uh, this isn't your story, so don't pick up on your story, stick around, and sometimes there could be just messages throughout this jump out and speak to you. I'm going to clarify these cards if I need to off uh, camera, guys, okay? So um, let me just take these in and I'll be back. So Aquarius, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side, just kind of resonates the most. Okay, and of course, feel free to check out your other readings, which should be pinned in the corner as we speak. All right, okay, all right. So it seems like just touching on the kind of uh, th what this, seems like this person has done something that you wasn't really pleased with, with the judgment card there. A lot of judgment around maybe something that they'd done or just how they was behaving or something around some form of action that this person has taken that you kind of really not happy with, really not happy with to the point where I feel like for some of you, it could have been something that you've spoken with this person about in the past before, but whatever it is, there's a lot of judgment there that you have uh, with this feeling of loss as well, because I feel like it's caused you to want to distance yourself from this relationship for some of you for others it's really kind of you know end this relationship um and for others it's kind of especially if you live together it's it's a case of i need to process this i need to you kind of you know not speaking you've kind of gone in your shell there's a solitude vibe to you in terms of you just processing things asking yourself those important questions with the hermit card there ah person has done something as much as yeah as much as you know okay we'll get to that in a minute so this person has done something and it's left them how you're responding to them it's left them with this uh, lack of clarity just they're just not sure what you're thinking they're not sure what your next move is they're not sure how you're gonna handle this or what you're gonna say to them however they they do have that wild card kind of they're starting to see, or they started to see the bigger picture when it came to this. And there is this disappointment. I feel like this is more so disappointment in themselves, disappointment in their own actions. Um, and they're wanting to save this, but it's like they pull their self back. They're wanting to kind of build on this again, or an opportunity to build. So for some of you, you've definitely kind of, you know, not spoken to this person for a while, or there's an element of distance, let's say that. But they're holding their self back, trying to be patient. It's like, on some level, there's a knowing about them having to be patient. Yeah, which brings us to where we are at the moment. You're standing your ground, showing up as a seven. You know, you're standing your ground on just, well, let's let's touch on, on here. I did say I was going to go back to here. Because I was going to say that it's not to say that outside of whatever this person has done. It's not to say that this person doesn't, there's, there's no happiness with them because on some level there most definitely is a strong attraction as well. But I feel like whatever it is that they've done, whatever action, whatever happened is caused, you know, you're just really disappointed. You're not, it's, it's like, I can't indulge in those feelings and those thoughts because of what they've done. So I can't really acknowledge that. I, I don't want to acknowledge that. Stand in your ground. So this is why that seven makes sense. It's like I'm standing my ground, not budging on on how I feel about this. I'm not budging on, you know, what I'm thinking when it comes to this or even my actions when it comes to this. So there is this focus on, for a lot of you, just work, walking, 
um, maybe because there's something that you need to provide for maybe kids or, you know, and of course, you know, bills or whatever the case may be, or maybe other, um, dependents that maybe rely on you could be this person as well for some of you, but it doesn't stop you from thinking, you know, I've put so much effort into this. You know, there's been work that's been put into this. I've put effort into this, whether that's you just being patient with this person, you kind of, you know, trying to help and support this person in order for you both to advance, in order for you both to kind of move this relationship ahead. And that in itself is kind of stressing you out. It's causing you to, you know, when you just think, oh my God, I should have known better. It's that type of thing. That, that in itself, the thoughts around that is just stressing you out. For a lot of you, highly stressing you out as well. But I will say, as your person has shown up as the ace of blades, it's like they've come up with some form of solution, Aquarius. Person's come up with some form of idea that they're keeping hidden. And I don't feel like it's just from you. And that's for those of you that are still kind of in contact with this person. Look at that seven of swords there. I don't feel like it's just from you. I feel like it's from everyone. There's something that this person is doing behind the scene that they're just kind of keeping hidden, keeping a secret. And it's something to do around transformation. We've got that death card there. So transformation, the death card talks about, you know, something coming to an end uh, and with an ending comes a rebirth of something. So there's huge transformation, whatever it is around, whatever it is that this person is hiding. So this person could be seeking some form of help, i.e., maybe therapy or counseling, something along, some form of support um, that is going to enable them to transform, to change, you know, to have this new beginning, this new beginning, this new lease of life. It's this transformation. They're keeping that hidden as well. There's a, there's a lot of passion um, or desire around that as well for them. They're not sure how you're going to re respond to it. They're not sure how you're going to take, you know, what's going on for them. Because I feel like genuinely, um, genuinely, uh, Aquarius, that this person, you, you inspired that. I feel like you inspired this shift or this want to even change in there. But they're not sure how you're going to be, how you're going to respond to that. You know, if there's a bit of doubt that comes in for them, even though, yeah, they've got that will of fortune, wanting things to come in and turn around for them. Uh, with the Empress card, talks about the birthing of something, the creation of something. So, of course, that's what they're wanting. But there is doubt that comes in. Not sure how you're going to respond to this. Okay, so we do have that seven. So, you are hiding something as well. I feel like for a lot of you, you're even hiding that from yourself. We've got the star card there, which talks about healing, fixing, mending some. So, on some level, you're wanting to... And I don't feel like that's yourself because we do have that weighted period. I feel like this is deep down on some level. You want to fix this. You want to mend this. But there is this waiting um, around around that. There's a waiting feeling. Um, you're not telling anyone. I don't think for a lot of you, you're even being honest with yourself around, about that. Because it's like, how could I? <laughs> for some of you, it really is like, how could I want to even fix this with this person? when they've done X, Y, Z. So that might surprise some of you guys. So the, yeah, you've inspired this change. So you've been inspired change. You've been inspired transformation. And I feel like, you know, and we'll move into part two of the reading and we'll kind of get an idea where this moves to guys in a minute. But before we do that, it's like, you know, Yes, I feel like this person is very much serious. Again, this person is starting to seek outside help um, with that transformation. But I feel like, and I know for some of you, you could be questioning, well, you know, I don't want them to do it for me. I want them to do it because they want to do it. I, w I want them to do it because they see the benefit um, in doing that, not just for the relationship, not just for me to get me back, but for their self or for their own improvement, self-improvement. And I feel like this person is doing it for that. Of course, you inspired this, but I feel like there's nothing here that kind of jumps out to say otherwise. So I feel like you're just going to, and we'll see, of course, 
you, you've got something to think about. You've got something to think about. Because for a lot of you, I feel like there's going to be a hurdle around you just trying to be honest with yourself around you wanting to just mend this and fix this. Um, but yeah, so hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity, guys. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. Um, other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. For those of you that are coming over to, to part two, uh, link should be in the description bar below. Other than that, I shall see you next week. Bye. Okay, so um, Aquarius. So this person moves in. So this person goes through that transformation. 